Howdy folks, Kurt up here. So, let me just tell you what I was planning on doing for the eclipse. I'm planning on going to Texas, Dallas to be exact. Uh, my wife's sister and her husband have a house there and it's right in totality. So, I'm going to be carrying stuff on the plane and I'm going to bring it all on carry-on. And I was originally going to bring this thing, which is my uh, new Askar... 300 millimeter telescope, but you know what? I chickened out on it. I, I don't want to bring this. I don't want to rip it apart. I love this telescope. It's probably going to give me, it would give me the best image, but I, I just don't really want to bring that on the plane and damage it. I just got this telescope in this, this past year and I love it. So uh, th I'm not going to bring this. Aww. So what am I going to bring? Well, I'm gonna bring my old trusty rusty 200 millimeter camera lens, Canon T3i, it's a modified camera. It also goes by the 600D. And I've taken some really good images. In fact, the last time I did this eclipse, this is the camera that I used, although I had it on my Orion 400 millimeter short tube. And I got some really good images with that. Now, I'm not a solar uh, eclipse photographer by any stretch of the means there's a whole bunch of other people out there who specialize in this and they're going to take a far better image than me anyways even if i had that that my good telescope so i'm going to do the best job i could and i'll probably get a fine image i think so that you know that, that's the other reason why i didn't want to bring that other telescope i don't want to risk it damaging it but uh this, I, you know i don't want to miss this so i want to do i do want to take an image i did actually purchase a tele extender for this lens i got the 1.4 uh, canon ef extender and i started taking some uh, images with this thing it looks pretty good it works pretty well i actually saw a video recently by trevor jones and this is the extender that he's going to use when he takes the uh, image of the sun as well but he's putting it on a bigger lens so anyways that's my plan for capturing it oh by the way i'm going to use my the i believe i'm going to go old school and use backyard eos to control the camera because this is what i did last time i i did the bracketing and had to take a series of images and so i didn't really have to mess with it once i got everything all set up all i all i could do is just have to do is enjoy the eclipse because i you don't want to be messing around with the camera when the eclipse is going on it's far better to watch and observe the eclipse than be farting around with a camera so either i'm going to get a decent image of it or i'm not if i don't oh well now you may notice i've got it on my am3 mount that's i'm going to bring this mount too this is so compact that i can actually put this in my carry-on so i'm not going to have to check in any baggage i'm gonna everything i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring carry on and i'm really hi everyone i had to remake this portion and it started raining outside so now i'm in my garage remaking it but yeah i had this thing going already testing it out and it worked really well the first thing you got to do of course is you want to polar align it the night night before if possible to get it all polar aligned where you can find polaris but you don't really need to, to be honest with you, even if you go out the next morning and you line it up, line it up to the north direction and line your mount uh, to the elevation of uh, well, the latitude, because that's what Polaris is, your latitude, that's probably good enough with uh, something like this. You don't need it super accurate for polar aligning. It's not like doing nighttime deep sky astrophotography. And the other thing is, of course, trying to find the sun. And actually, it wasn't too bad with this one, just even trying it without anything. But I actually made a solar finder out of a light socket. And I drilled a hole, a small hole right in the center there. And I drilled a larger hole and just put a, like a little piece of paper, or diffusion, a piece of tape on the back end. And that'll allow me to find the sun. You can just actually attach it with tape or velcro to your telescope lens or whatever and that works pretty well it, this is only two bucks uh one that's store-bought and a real solar finder uh, they cost like 45 dollars so you know there you go 
Okay, folks, I'm going to bring one more thing with me to this Eclipse. I'm actually going to bring my old Orion Short Tube 80 telescope, and this is actually the one that I used to image during the last solar eclipse. But I'm not you bringing it up for photography purposes, I'm only bringing it up for visual purposes. I figure I'll look at the sun with this. And I don't, I'm not putting it with a filter on the front end of it. I'm actually using a special filter. It's called a Daystar Quark. Quark is the, Daystar is a brand name and Quark is the apparatus here. It's special because it's a hydrogen alpha filter, which is specific for the sun. And it actually blocks a lot of the, the light out, but allows you to see like solar flares and prominences and surface features of the sun that's really invisible if you have like the normal solar filters that cover the front end. So I'm gonna bring this with me and I had it, I was testing it out the other day and boy, it was wonderful. I saw some great flares and I saw some really cool surface features. So I figure I'll bring this with me and uh, let everybody enjoy looking at it uh, as well. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna pack all this next and then that'll be it for this video. And I told you it was gonna be a quick one. Okay, well, you can see how everything is packed away into these two. This is my roller derby and this is my camera backpack. Of course, I'm going to have everything wrapped up uh, better than this. I'm, I'm going to put my clothes in here, too. It's going to be packed away with my clothes for more security. But this is everything, everything that I'm going to need. So I'm, I'm very happy about this. Okay, so that was my plan. I figured I'd show you guys how I'm packing it. I thought that was pretty important to show you because I know I'm, just, I'm going to try to carry everything on, put it on carry, and I'm not going to check in anything. I know other people out there that are going to try to image this thing. They're going to, they're going to have to do check-in because they, they got a lot of stuff, but I didn't want to do that. I will provide links in the comment or discussion session of other people uh, like Nebula Photos, you know, Trevor, uh, Nico Carver, Trevor Jones, and uh, Queeve, uh, just to name a few, uh, who are going to provide, they provided more information on how to actually capture and do your setup and all that stuff. So, like I said, I'll provide links. I didn't want to do all that stuff because they've already done it and they do a better job of it than I will. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing, where I'm going, and how I'm packing it. Okay, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.